Hi, good afternoon, brethren. Um, I'm just making a quick uh, book review video on some systematic theologies, and all these ones I'm going to quickly review um, are um, systematic theologies that are within the charismatic Pentecostal uh, theological position. And um, within systematic theologies, there just seems to be a real lack of um, defending the continuation of all the spiritual gifts. Um, now, I, I don't agree fully with all of these systematic theologies, um, I would say with every jot and tittle, but I do agree with pretty much with most of what they say. But uh, if you're wondering like what systematic theologies are out there that are within the charismatic Pentecostal um, theological position, and I want to make this video for you. Um, there's not very many, as I said, uh, and, you know, hopefully you can get as much as you can from this video. And the one I have right before me, this is by Miles Perlman, Myra Perlman, Knowing the Doctrines of the Bible. And this is actually one I'm ac currently going through um, to get my theological training. And um, this is put out by Gospel uh, Publishing House. And... Um, it's a, it's a publishing house from the Assemblies of God denomination. Uh, Myro Perlman, he already passed away. He made this book way back in the day, I believe from like 1930s. He was a, an Assemblies of God guy, and uh, it's a very good systematic theology. And it's around, roughly around 300 pages, 300 and something pages, 330 pages, I would say. So it's not exhaustive, uh, as you can see, the thickness of it is really not that much, um, and it's a good size handbook, and um, it, I like the way he uh, he pretty much explains the doctrines. It's not wordy, it's concise, to the point. Um, he says enough just for you to like understand, and and he like I said, he doesn't go where he's just saying things too much, too wordy, or, because some systematic theologies will spend, like, six paragraphs, or maybe even seven or ten, just on one single doctrine. While that can be, you know, with all that, that's good, um, you know, it's good to explain the doctrines in detail, but some people might not just not have that time, and it's just best to just keep it concise, um, that way, the believer can look at the scriptures and, you know, do further study on themselves. And um, I, for I forgot to mention, all these systematic theologies um, I'm reviewing are all one volume, except for one. Um, I'll get to that one. It's um, it's actually a three-volume three set. But other than that, all these will be are one volume. This is one volume. And um, very, very good. Um, uh, so I do recommend all of these, but that's one right there. And then I have, uh, Truth of Flame Theology for the Church and Rule. This is by Larry D. Hart, and it's put out by Zondervan right there. This one is thicker, as you can see, it's way thicker. Um, this is put out by one guy. The other one was put out by one guy as well. Um, Larry D. Hart, as far as, as, far as I know, he's a, he's a Baptist. A Baptist charismatic, so um, he did this one, and uh, so this one is also concise. Um, being one volume systematic theologies, they're obviously going to be concise. They're not going to um, get into extreme detail as a uh, multi-volume one like Lewis Berry Schaefer's a systematic, a volume systematic theology, but this one is a revised edition. So it's very, very good. Um, so this one, uh, what's interesting about this one is uh, he didn't name it Systematic Theology. He named it Truth of Flame, an interesting title um, that just, uh, I guess, the generic name Systematic Theology. Um, so... It's thick, but it's not, um, like I said, this one is concise, so he doesn't explain, go into extreme detail. 
It's also understandable. It's readable. Any lay Christian can read it and understand it. So it's it's a, it's a good one. And then the next one I have um, is by, uh, well, it's not by him, but he was the main editor, Stanley M. Horton. This one is called Systematic Theology, Revised Edition. And this one is put out by Logion Press. And it's uh, an Assemblies of God uh, Systematic Theology. Now, the interesting thing about this one, this one was actually created by uh, many, many um, Assemblies of God pastors, uh, theologians, all theologians from different uh, Assemblies of God uh, seminaries and Bible colleges. So it's a compilation of many of these guys where they work together in one systematic theology. And this one is thick too. It's roughly about, I think, 600 pages or so. Around there, close to 700. I believe it's 700. And what I like about this one, um, this one's cool because it all it has questions at the end of each chapter. So it's so once you finish it, uh, one chapter on a specific area of doctrine, they will give you questions at the end. That way you can answer them and you can, you know, work out your knowledge of what you learned in the the, the specific doctrine you're studying. Um, it's good to even use when you, it could be used as a group study. It can be used to teach, uh, private, um, study time. So it's very good. And, um, so I highly recommend it. This one's also concise. They get straight to the point, not too wordy. Very, very good. So that's that one. And this one is by R.T. Kendall. Now, this is the one I was talking about that's three volumes. Um, I don't have the other two volumes. I haven't, I don't have them yet. So this is the first volume. Um, so it was recommended by Billy Graham and Dr. James C. Dobson. This is put out by uh, Christian Focus. Um, so this one is very, uh, it's concise. And the interesting about this one is how the author does it. Um, most systematic theologies lay out the doctrines in paragraph form. So when you read in, let's say you're reading on Christology. So it's going to be done in paragraph forms. The way he did this one design, I thought it was interesting. And I actually like it. He does it in outline form. So just to give you an example of what it looks like inside. So this one is on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And um, as you could see here, he does outlines. So it's not in paragraph form. So it's give you outlines and under, he'll give you a specific title or subtitle. Under that, you have different points like A, B, and C. Um, so this is how he does it. This is how his systematic theologies are. This one is called Understanding Theology by... Um, R.T. Kendall, this is the first volume. It's three volumes in total. And they're not very long. They're actually very skinny. It's around, um, let me see here, around 400, 430 pages. Um, that may be a lot, but it's actually a really skinny book, as you can see. So it's not a whole lot here. Um, but this one is very, very simplistic. Um, it's very simple, but I still think it's a very good systematic theology. Um, very, very good stuff. Uh, very simplistic. Actually, in fact, more simple. I think this is the simplest one out of all these here. Um, so another thing about this one is uh, it's charismatic, but it's also um, what it's also uh within the Calvinistic um, system. So it's charismatic, but also within the, uh, the Calvinistic system. So just throwing that out there to keep that in mind. Um, I don't believe in Calvinism, but I still think it's a good systematic theology just because of the simplicity. It's understandable and readable. Um, I have this one also. Foundations of Pentecostal Theology, Study Guides Included, by Guy P. Duffield and Nathan M. Van Cleef. Both two guys, uh, two theologians within the Foursquare Church denomination. They've both uh, passed away already, gone on with the Lord, but it's 
put out by Foursquare Media, the denomination, Foursquare Church. Um, so this one's pretty thick, but don't let that intimidate you. Uh, it's thick because um, it's around, I believe, 800 pages or so. I think it's around 800 pages uh, around there, yeah. So the reason it's thick because um, the, the reality is that up to, uh, I would say, the actual systematic theology is around 500 pages, but the other 300 pages is because of the study guide that's included. And the study guides are pretty much um, questions drawn out from the chapter. So the way they did it is they're giving um, the... Under each chapter, they'll have uh, questions that are pertaining to that uh, specific chapter. And this one is also good because it has those study guide questions. So you can use it in a classroom setting to teach. Uh, it can be used as a group study. You can even do it uh, just in your private time, just reading it. And this one, although it's really thick, it's actually very uh, concise. So it is concise. Um, it's not wordy. They get straight to the point. Um, so it's very easy to read. It's nothing, ex anything that's, uh, exhaustive or anything you can't understand. So this one is done in outline form, like the previous one I was reviewing. Um, but this one, um, although it's done in outline form, they do little mini paragraphs in each outline and each point. Uh, the other one is more like pretty much like one sentences or two sentences within each point. This one is done in outline form, not the typical um, standard uh, paragraph form you would see in many, many systematic theologies. But this one is easy to read. Uh, don't let the size of it intimidate you. It's very easy. And then lastly, I have my uh, or the Renewal Theology, Systematic Theology from a Charismatic Perspective. Now, this is originally three volumes, but it's, this one is the actual one volume. So you get the, all three volumes in one. This is by J. J. Rodman Williams. So this one is another charismatic systematic theology with, that's also within the um, Calvinistic tradition. So this is another one. Uh, this one's very, very good. Um, I, it's... it's it's also, um, this one is concise. Uh, he, he doesn't get into great, great detail, but it is done like the traditional, the paragraphs. You have the footnotes at the bottom, and uh, it's very re readable. Uh, it's easy to understand. Nothing where it's going to be overly um, exhaustive or just fry your brain with so many um, uh academic language it's easy to read now this one does not include the questions as far as i know so it's more you just read and um but it is um i think in total this might be around like a thousand pages but it's this is this one so that's all the systematic theologies that i know of that are the Charismatic Pentecostal Systematic. And now one that I do not have here is Wayne Grudem's Systematic Theology. From what I understand, that's become a standard systematic theology. That one is in the Calvinistic Charismatic tradition. Um, that's another one. Now, just understand that I don't agree fully with some of the things that, you know, some of these systematic theologies teach. Um, I don't agree with the Calvinistic system that's in this one and the other one, Understanding Theology by R.T. Kendall. But they still have, they still offer very good stuff. They're sound in other areas, um, defending the continuation of spiritual gifts. And um, you may be wondering, like, well, you know, which one is good to start with? Uh, so I don't recommend starting with this one. Um, unless you really have that time, I don't think you, that's that one's really thick, so... You might not want to start with that one. Uh, it's really, really thick. Really, really, really thick. Um, this one is thick too, but it's easy. Um, it's an easy read, believe me. So, the one actually I would recommend you to start with uh, to get your theological training, it would be this one. Knowing the doctrines of the Bible. This one is 
about, like I said, 330 pages. It's concise. It's to the point. Um, the the auth, the teacher did not go into like super great detail, where it's just exhaustive. So, it's a very very good systematic theology. Highly highly recommend. I I recommend all of these. Um, just keep in mind, when you read a systematic theology, you're going to come across certain doctrines within those books that you may not agree with. They're just like, I sometimes compare systematic theologists to being commentaries in the way that you're coming across pretty much the opinion of a teacher or pastor that you may not always fully agree with, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but, you know, we can still learn from from different systematic theologies, even though we may not agree with fully in every, you know, jot and tittle that's contained within those those books. But um, if they, def you know, I like all these systematic theologies because they defend the continuation of the spiritual gifts and reject cessationism. Um, so I like all these. Um, so they're all they're all very good. Recommend um, all of these. So now you know which charismatic Pentecostal systematic theologies are uh, pretty much out there. All of these are available. None of these are um, discontinued, so you can still, all of these are still in print, and you can buy all of them. Um, if you want to know the title of a specific one, just pause the video and then check one out that you like. Uh, I think the most expensive one out of all of these would probably be... Uh, the last one, um, Renewal Theology by J. Rodman Williams, that one is like $65.99. This one is the cheapest. This one is $10.99 right now at christianbook.com. At regular price, it's like $15, which is not bad. But, I mean, investing $15 to, you know, to get your theological training, you can't beat that. So, you can get it at Gospel Publishing House or at ChristianBook.com. But if you get it at ChristianBook.com, it's a lot cheaper. I would just get it there. So choose one that you like, or if you, I mean, if you want plan on buying all of these, these are great. I recommend all of them. It was time for some believers to finally make some systematic theologies defending the continuation of the spiritual gifts. I feel like the systematic theologies. In the world of systematic theology, they have been saturated with cessationism, that false teaching. So, um, it's time, you know, finally some believers, God rose up some believers to defend the continuation of the spiritual gifts in his ministry in the church today. And um, it's good to see it in, done in, in a systematic theology form. So, thank you for watching this video and God bless you.